Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and this one isn't going to be of geckos or anything. Um, this one is going to be of my, one of my favorite hobbies, one of my three favorite hobbies. And, uh, this is going to be on my fishing stuff that I'm, that I use in the Gulf of Mexico. And this is going to be used on my vacation. So, yeah, uh, sorry guys if you guys think this is a gecko video, but this is not a gecko video. Uh, I might be making one here in a couple days, I don't know. I've run out of ideas. But anyways, um, let's get straight to it. So, I'll show you my, like, rack of fishing stuff. So this is kind of like all the souvenirs I've gotten from fishing. And it says all about fishing. It's like a fishing rack that I have. And this was... A rod I was using while I was trolling, or a reel that I was using while I was uh, using a crankbait, and it has no like thing to attach it to the rod because it just snapped under the pressure. Yeah, <laughs> that. Uh, I got a stingray bar from one of my friends down at the Tampa Bay Pier. Um, yeah, it's a stingray bar, but it's about. Use my thumb about three or four inches, yeah. Um, just kind of snipped it off the stingray's tail. He caught it on. Um, got like a pass to a fishing boat and a tarpon scale from someone he caught like a 200 pound tarpon. There was just the scale sitting there, so yeah, it's pretty cool. It's about like the size of my three fingers. So yeah, let's get on with the review. Well. Also, here's my hat that I wear. Yeah, it's pretty sweaty and everything. From uh, just, I've had it for so long since like fifth grade. Sorry for for the background noise. Okay, let's get on with the view. Right, this is my saltwater tackle box, guys. Um, it's all it's gonna be saltwater stuff. So first of all, I have. Sorry about my dog barking. Anyways, uh. I have some leaders for some fish with teeth, like mackerel, um, snapper, or anything like that. And it has a circle hook on it. There's one, there's a bunch of circle hooks. They're all mixed together, but they're pretty good. Those are smaller ones, and then I got bigger circle hooks right there. I got um, some. Uh, some treble hooks right there with a few sinkers. Got a few like small baits. Uh, some of the small fish. If I want to catch some bait fish or something, I don't know what I'm gonna catch down there, but I might try to catch something with that. And I got some bigger baits that are some freshwater baits, but kind of look like saltwaters. Got some rattlers. Um, walk the dogs. That's what I call them at least. And there's this like crawled ad. And it looks like a shrimp. Well, at least to me. And I'm gonna try that one out. It might be good. I got some swivels for the mono connecting to my uh, other thing. And, or to my other line. And here's some of my spoons. I don't know what it says. I can't really read it. But this one's pretty good. I haven't really caught anything on it, but I've used it a few times. Gotten a few hits. Here's my giant thing of weights. I lose a lot of weights, and that's a lot of weights, but I'm planning on getting more because some of them are freshwater uh, bass or so. Yeah, and then I got some swim baits, some freshwater. Um, I've gotten a hit off of this guy this thing. It's, you can like kind of see the reflection off of it. And these DOA shrimp. These things are amazing. They're expensive, but they're they're really good. They'll catch some snook and stuff. And if you want to catch something down in the Gulf, go for snook. They're easy to find in most places and they're the most one of the most common uh predatory fish and they're really good they're like um they're like bass 
pretty much, but on steroids. And here's some of like my bass hooks and some jigs. All miscellaneous stuff. Yeah, pretty much. And then here's some of my freshwater stuff and we'll mix it with my saltwater uh plastics. And here's my saltwater stuff. I don't know what this is called, but it has really sharp hooks and it's pretty good for catching mackerel. It's a mirror lure. These things are amazing. And I got like this big one for like tarpon or something big like that. And some little hooks for catching bait fish. Some like minnow looking things. A pair of pliers. I think to get all of your like the smells off your hands. I hate that. <laughs> when that happens, when you go to eat something and your hands smell terrible. A knife. You're cutting up bait fish. Some scissors. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Let me put this one back in. Hopefully this goes down. Yep. Okay. Now down to this. So, okay, I got some like a uh, um a weigh like a weight thing. It's pretty good. I got it from my dad. Uh it's an electrical one. It's it's pretty good. I like it. Um, works pretty well. So, yeah. Um, I don't know how it goes off, but okay. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And here are some of my like jigs and stuff. So, yeah. Um, I don't really want to take them out. Some of them are already pre-stringed for uh. So I can just go out there and catch some stuff. I don't know. Yeah. As soon as I I can just walk out on the beach and start throwing stuff so I don't and I just hook it on. Um here's my monofilament. I got this for like cheap at Walmart for like five or six bucks for two hundred and fifty yards. Twenty pound test. Why does it do this to me all the time? I don't know, but it's really annoying. Oh yeah. And I got oops. I got some Berkeley I think these are Berkeley, yeah. Berkeley gloves, these are really good. Um and some shrimp. These things are amazing. You can get anything on these. They're expensive, but they're worth it. I think they would I think they should add more into it, but you know, for the strikes and stuff you get off of that Berkeley stuff or Gulp Alive, um, it's worth it. Then I got my Dewa um, SS Tournament 1600 uh, with 30 pound uh, braided so that. When it's on the bottom and the fish gives a little bit of resistance, it hooks them immediately. And it's just stronger than monofilament. Now on to my other rod. Whoops. Oh yeah. This is my Shimano. These things are great. Uh, I don't know the name of this. Sorry, guys. Um... Adana or something? Yeah. Adana. Um, it's like the medium medium reel. Uh, it's set up for bass right now, but I'm going to use it for uh, saltwater fishing. I got my four or four or six foot cast net. Not very good, but still catch a little bit off of it. And my aerator for keeping all my uh, bait fish alive. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe and comment if you have any questions. Thanks, guys, for watching.